Good evening. Uh, I, I am uh, making a video because, well, I make a lot of videos, but um, I am disturbed uh, by what's happening to the Latino community in the United States. Um, what's happening to the Latino community in the United States, they're being hunted down um, and uh, racially profiled because simply we look Latino. Uh, the governments in states, uh, red states, Texas, Oklahoma, um, Indiana, Idaho, but right now there's two, there are two that are very, very uh, racist and very active in, in hunting down Hispanics. And it's Oklahoma and Texas. The governor of Texas uh, just signed into law a law that says that the police officers can, if you look Latino, they can ask you for your immigration status. Okay? And uh, people say, what's the big deal? I'll show you in a minute. Oklahoma, they just, uh, they want to pass a law. And very proudly so. They're very proud of this. This Republican right-wing Christians, and they are Christians. Yeah, uh, they're, they're white Republican Christians uh, hunting down Latinos uh, simply because we look Latinos. They, they're in Oklahoma. They want to uh, send all the Hispanic children to uh, make sure that... Um, that they are here legally and uh, and if they're not legally they're gonna kick him off of the school and turn not not kick, just kick him off the school they're just gonna deport him now people say well that's great because they're gonna deport people 93 percent of the Latino children in Oklahoma are citizens okay 93 percent so how about let me put you put it in perspective for you if you're a white person a white Christian Republican okay most of the terrorist attacks and the racial massacres committed in this country are committed by white right-wing Christian men okay white right-wing Christian men if we use that same reasoning, the ones that the, the reasoning that this racist Republican Christian <clears throat> legislators and, and, and governors are using, and Donald Trump is using, we then have to go into schools and say we need to investigate all the white children whose parents are right-wing or Republican Christians because a lot of this, the most, if not all, of the, racial, uh, of the uh, racially motivated massacres against us brown people are committed by these people. So we're going to start pulling people over Simply because they look white, and then after they look, after we, the person pulls them over, after the cop pulls them over, says, hey, are you a Republican? Yes. Okay, we need to check your truck for bombs, for AK-47s, uh, for AR-15 rifles, for uh, any type of material that, uh, that's, uh, you know, extremist and racist. Do you follow where I'm going with this? So, if it is ridiculous to do such a racist thing against white people, why isn't it ridiculous to do it against us people, Hispanics? What makes you think that you have a right to go and terrorize our children at our school simply because they're Hispanic and make them go through a process to make sure that they're not here illegally. Think about that for one second. If we're going to really do that, we have to go all the way back and say, you know what? Re 
Christian Europeans committed genocide against my ancestors. I'm Native American. I have Native American blood. So if Christian Europeans committed genocide against my ancestors and stole my land and killed off all my people and just and the rest they forced us out of our land here in Florida right here where my my ancestors were here thousands of years ago in Palm Beach and Cape Canaveral we're called the Haiga Aes Tainos we were here way before any Europeans came here we would have to say, and then they took our people and they marched us all the way into reservations where, which are nothing more than concentration camps for Native Americans in the middle of a fucking desert. It's called the Trail of Tears. Andrew Jackson, a genocidal monster. The guy who that Donald Trump praises as a great president. He was a scumbag. Okay, a genocidal, ethnic cleansing, land thief, murderer okay so we would have to use that if you if we use that reasoning we would have to make sure we would we would have to be pulling over white people christian white people to make sure they didn't have to have intentions of raping murdering and stealing people's land as ridiculous as that sounds that is the same argument they're using to round up Latinos and brown people right now. What's happening in this country right now is the same thing that happened during the, the, uh, the Nazi regime. They started going after the Jews while well, they're coming after us. Latinos. You know. And, and no, and you think, oh, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm a citizen, I don't have to worry about that. Really? Is that what you think? You think you're better than the people, than the people, you know, the Mexican people who are here or anything like that? Shame on you. Shame on you for thinking like that. Those people, by the way, the people who are here, the so-called illegal immigrants, the Mexicans, Mexico owned half of this country before the government of the United States stole it from Mexico through aggressive war. What's aggressive war? What Germany did in the 1930s and 40s, early 40s, World War II. They just invaded and bombed the shit and stole land. That's exactly how they got half of this country, the entire half of this country belonged to Mexico. And it should be Mexican land. So those people that they wanted to, to uh, you know, they're treating all white supremacists, those people that want to kick out of here, you know, they're the rightful owners of this land, you know. The problem is, is it's so culturally illiterate, illiterate. So many culturally illiterate people in this nation, by design, by the government, especially the right wing, they've been working at keeping people stupid for about 40, 50 years, and it's working. They think, they think this is not going to go well. It's not. This is going to create turmoil. It's not going to go quietly. Unfortunately, they're asking for blood. They're going to get it. You know? I hope they don't. They don't. They don't. It doesn't get there. But you, you can only push people so far. You know? And they're forgetting this. This land was stolen from our ancestors. The Native American ancestors. And you don't see us out there telling people, you know, you're white, you're standing on my land, blah, 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 blah. No. So maybe a little bit of human decency is due. But I don't expect it from these European uh, descendants, descendants of Europeans, the Christians. You know, and they're all Christian, all of them. You know, and I'm not saying all Christians are bad, I'm saying these people are Christian. And they're the worst of the worst. Racist, misogynist, homophobic, liars, demagogues. The worst of the worst. The one good thing is that in 2050, we're going to be the largest group in this country. 
those of us of Hispanic blood. So, you know, I think this is our last hooray, but it's not going to go quietly, you know. When the elections come, bolt these pieces of shit out of office.